What do you think or know about cancer? Do you have any experience with cancer? My father was died because of uh, cancer and blood. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he was suffering from that for two years mm -hmm. because it is harm harmful for this people, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I hear what happened to Mr. Prince, I rem I just remember my father, and that makes me sad. Your father died because of cancer. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you, and that makes me sad. Uh, finally, nothing to do, you know, because there is no. So he passed away. Yeah, he passed away last uh, March. So yeah. you definitely feel the yeah, I the know sorrow. It is hard, you know. Yeah. It is hard because sometimes you want father, son, daughter. There is important member in our life, you know, and uh, lost them a big issue and it's hard it will take a long time to deal with this situation i think that cancer is, is something that's becoming more prevalent mm -hmm. as, as uh you know, time goes on and, and more more pollution comes into into the world but um i personally my life hasn't been affected as mm -hmm. much as others have in in terms of cancer or mm -hmm. deaths in the family um I have relatives who have died, but uh, they all are are pretty distant to me, so it hasn't hit me mm. in my family immediately. But it, I have seen it in in a lot of other families around. Um, mm. Grew up with a couple neighborhood friends, and and uh, their mother died from breast cancer when they were just seven, and um, it's. It was rough watching watching the family struggle through mm -hmm. through that, and I definitely have grown an appreciation for those who have have gone past feeling the suffering of losing a family member. But it is it's still hard mm -hmm. to imagine that. I mean, it takes people way before their time. Mm -hmm. I've lost family to cancer. You really? Yeah, my aunt, uh, my mom's sister was lost to cancer, and wow. it's something. I'm so sorry to hear that something that strikes a lot of families way too soon and for you know no apparent reason um, it's it's terrible it's a treacherous thing and i mean i hope i hope soon that something gets figured out that will you know, treat it a lot better but you know this kind of tragedy strikes a lot of people do you have any messages for those who have cancer actually you know i you know, I don't have anything to say because it's just hard, you know? Yeah. Mm, definitely, it's, it's it's a struggle, and it's something that you just have to, to, to fight through and, and believe every day that tomorrow could be the day that you're cancer-free. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow can be a better day. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't imagine the, the type of struggle or fear or pain that you would have with a diagnosis like that, but I mean the only thing anyone can ever do is to keep hoping, keep fighting, because some people do fight it off, some people go into remission, um, so the only thing you can do I think is, is keep fighting, keep having hope, because not giving up is a lot of the battle it seems like. Any messages for those who do not have cancer? I will say for them be careful if they are smoking stuff. You have, they have to quit smoking. They have to avoid the reason for making person become having cancer. You know, like smoking, maybe drug, drug, alcohol. There, uh, I don't know about what is the cause of liver cancer. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's kind of viruses mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But uh, they have to be careful about their health. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I I give money to to you know, the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer mm -hmm. uh, Awareness Campaign or uh, you know, different you know, advocacy groups for for cancer treatment or cancer mm -hmm. uh, cancer cure funding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And and I think that. The more 
money that can be donated, the, the better research and the better quality of, of result can come to cure cancer. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the one thing I would say is, I mean, I, I got diagnosed with a, a blood disease and mm -hmm. I had to go on to get testing because I thought it could possibly be a type of uh, leukemia. And I remember going into it um, and coming out of it not being diagnosed with such an appreciation for every day of life. And so the biggest thing is it can really happen to anyone. And I think anyone who's been affected by it knows that it can strike at just you know, the most unknown time. So really just to be appreciated every single day because it's every day is a gift. Message for the royal family and the people of Johor. I can say I'm so sorry for the loss, okay, and they have to be patient and think about the prince. Mm -hmm. Now he is more comfortable than, uh, All right. yeah. And my condolences, uh, having just read this article about them, it's, it's imperative that, or it's, uh, not the word imperative, it's obvious that, that the, the prince, the late prince, meant a lot to his people uh, to, to walk three kilometers carried by his brothers, but it's, I, I'm, I can only say I'm sorry for your loss and I hope that, that the suffering doesn't last All right. and that you, you move on from here, but live in, live life in, in his memory. Um, condolences, because that's something you don't want to, <laughs> you don't want that to happen to anyone, and for, especially happen to someone that's a leader in a, in a country or a nation is, is really shaking. Um, so just keep condolences because no one ever wants that to happen to anyone close to you.